So how do you know that which is true? What is a belief system? How do you know which one to accept, which are valid, which are less valid? What system can we use? How do you evaluate that? You can't unless you're trained to do that. In ancient Greeks, they talk of atoms and electrons, but they had as a supposition, until we can see them, doesn't make it valid. But people can suppose that people have brains and with their brains they think things out. They may not be that aware of precisely how education works and puts in your brains things they want to put in. They call certain things a fact. But nothing is factual in the sense of different points of view. You can do research to prove almost anything, but you can only prove it to people that don't know enough about extracting significance from a situation. In other words, if you don't acquire information, it's very hard to know that which is relevant. The more complex a system becomes, the more difficult it is to share with other people especially if normal people feel that it's their own intuition that tells them something. The more they know, the less intuition you depend on. The majority of people look for simplicity, simplistic explanations, like children. Why did you break the window? Because. He said, I broke the window, I want to see when it breaks. Daddy would spank him. The kid doesn't say, well, I did it because I want to antagonize you because I don't think you treated me fairly. The kid can't say that. He says, because. Because it's safer. Well, there's no such thing as truth. There are different presentations of different countries. But I think there are certain uniform things that people will agree upon. Like I always point out, clean air, clean water, food, relevant education. You can get people to agree on those things. And if you can do that, that's a starting point.